It's a rainy Sunday morning. I'm about to start brunch and laundry's already started too, but it's definitely slowing me down this morning because <laughs> it's just so cloudy and rainy and I'm, I'm happy that I'm home today, that's for sure. watching the marvelous miss mazel season four love the show it's on prime if you aren't watching it already and let me just show you <laughs> that the house is completely deconstructed right now all the valentine's day has been taken down actually chris helped me yesterday as i was editing the vacation vlog he put it all here for me and i'm gonna pack it all away today And then start with some Easter and spring. Um, Easter's not until April, so I definitely want to have it be predominantly spring with, you know, a good sprinkle of Easter bunnies and stuff involved as well. But yeah, I will show you as we get going, but just wanted to show you the reality of it. It looks a giant mess before it looks cute. <laughs> So I am making these adorable little mini flower pies today with lemon curd and powdered sugar. They're so easy to make. First off, you just need some pre-made pie shells that you're gonna cut with a flour cookie cutter. I did two different sizes because I wasn't sure which one's gonna be best. Make sure that you use a mini muffin tin and it's well greased before placing them in. And then I did um, use a fork to just put some aeration holes in there. And we're gonna bake these for eight to 10 minutes at 350 degrees. And I'll let you know what they look like after. That's when we'll put the lemon curd and the powdered sugar on top. I actually individually box them to give away to friends and family, but look how cute they are. Let me show you in better lighting. They totally look like little sun daisies. No, honey, this isn't for you, my baby. No matter how much you beg, I'm sorry. Mommy can get you something. Both my babies, yeah? This is not for you, honey. Anyways. Can't wait for Chris to try these when he gets home. Happy Wednesday. I just did a little bit of a drive through action here. I've got all the Diet Cokes in my lap for the office right now. But I just wanted to say a quick hi and catch up with you guys. It has been a very busy week at work and at home. Um, just been getting lots done. I hope you guys have had a productive week too. Um, I always feel better, so much better when I get things done and I'm productive. Anybody else? I just always have a mile long to-do list that never ends, but it still feels so great when you check things off the list. <laughs> so I came home to the sweetest gift from Too Faced. This is Hi Gorgeous thinking of you and wanting to send you one of our favorite products. So thank you so much to Too Faced. I just posted this on my Instagram stories too because it really truly made my day today. I got my favorite mascara. This is probably one of my most repurchased and used mascaras um, to date for sure. And yeah, I'm just really happy to have a backup. Let me go put this away and I have a feeling that someone's waiting for me, yep. Playtime? We play right when I get home usually. Okay. Go get your dinosaur. <laughs> it's her favorite or one of her favorites. So other than taking out a few Easter items, like a few pillows, and as you can see over in the distance in the dining room table, I've taken out all my Ray Dunn and like fragile things that I had around the kitchen that are Easter related and spring related, but I was productive enough to get everything cleaned up. I feel so much better now that all of the Valentine stuff is packed away and not all on the counters. It was there for not going to lie, a couple days. I mean, that's what happens when, you know, I work full time, so it's hard to get everything done sometimes. But um, Chris is super understanding of that, and it gets done when it gets done, you know. But it's kind of tucked away over here. 
but I have some Easter bins that I'm starting to get into and get inspired for the next season. But first, I have two vlogs to edit right now. Do you, do you bring your toy over to mommy again, honey? <laughs> you need a bath, and this one's getting a bath this weekend, her and Lucy, for sure. They're both not huge fans. Right, Holly? I know. Wednesday night, we had some green beans and rotisserie chicken and some rice. I like to split it up by the dark and light meat because I'm not a fan of dark meat. <laughs> Chris got his son gear on because we did watch the Suns game on Wednesday night and then I was greeted to these bad boys at work the next day and Mr. Darcy was definitely trying to get on those. So it's Friday and the doctor that I work for is actually in Cabo right now. Um, so I got to dress down in my cozy no, I was gonna say cozy scrubs, but no, cozy like sweatshirt and yoga pants for the day. And I actually just got out of my nail salon. I go to Star Nails off of Gilbert and Williamsfield. If you live here locally in Arizona, because some some of you sometimes ask me, and I go to Chi. I don't trust anybody but Chi. She's the owner of the shop. She knows what she's doing. I love her. Um, today I got lavender it a little different and you like well, hold on let me show you up closer the little daisies because they're so stinking cute I just put them on my pointer finger and my ring finger and I love it I love this color so spring I'm ready for spring anybody else here is a better up close view of the cute little daisies and let me show you on the opposite hand because I actually like them even better on my left hand I think they're so cute I threw together this yummy pasta dish. It just has bow tie pasta, leftover chicken, um, rouse pasta sauce, marinara, and then some mozzarella cheese. It was delish. I have some pretty exciting news for you guys today. Dossier is now available at Walmart stores. Because their products are such great quality. They're cruelty free. They're about the environment. They recycle, use recyclable and, re and sustainable products. Um, so they're very green. Um, and that's why I've always been supporting the brand. So I'm really excited that they're now going to be so accessible to everyone. Now, of course, they're not going to have their, probably their full range at every Walmart store. So if you're looking for specific high end, um, dupe fragrances, like the specific one, like one I'm going to show you today, then I would definitely check out their website. Now they have women, male and unisex fragrances, and there's hundreds of different scents. If you're not familiar with Dossier yet, they are a brand that's founded on every Everyone should be able to have access to luxury fragrance, to high quality, beautiful fragrance, but not that crazy high price point. So they take the crazy, you know, fun packaging and all the advertisement funds that they use to, you know, endorse celebrities and stuff like that. And instead they allow it to be a cheaper price for us or a more affordable price for us. Um, the one that I'm sharing today was inspired by Gucci Bloom. Now I've been really wanting to try this fragrance for spring, but I am not someone that wants to invest a ton in my fragrance because I like to try new fragrances. Um, yes, I'll have like a signature one that I'll wear for like a month or two, but then I like to switch it up. I get bored. I'm just that kind of girl. Um, so it's really fun to get to try fragrances that are exactly like those high-end fragrances. They smell exactly the same. They la have the same lasting power. Um, just the packaging is different. And what I do, because they don't, it doesn't say Gucci um, Bloom on this, of course. It says Floral Honeysuckle because those are the notes within this fragrance. It also has top notes of green leaves, orange, honeysuckle, middle notes of jasmine, tuber rose, and base notes of orris, sandalwood, and vanilla. Those base notes always get me. I love a sandalwood and vanilla um, base note. It always really um, works well with my um, makeup, I guess, whatever, my chemical makeup on my body because fragrance does sit and smell differently on everyone. It evolves differently on everyone. So really your skin and your own chemical makeup does do something to the fragrance. So even though I love it on me or someone else might like another fragrance on them, you might not like it on yourself. Um, and what's great about Dossier is they are risk-free. You have 30 days to send your fragrance back if you are not a fan and you don't enjoy that fragrance. And you can just trade it out for the hundreds of other fragrances they have on the 
site. So this fragrance is so fresh and floral, but then a slight sweetness at the end. Um, I'm definitely loving fragrances that have that like girly sweetness to it, but then still have the full body womanly notes to them too, so that it doesn't seem too young on me. Um, but yeah, I love this one. This is going to be so perfect for spring because of those floral notes. And what um, I like to do, which I was kind of making mention to earlier, is I actually write the perfume that it was inspired by on the bottle. So I remember which one was which. Um, or you could put it even on the bottom, like a sticker on the bottom if you don't want to make the really pretty classic um, look of the bottles change at all. But I actually turn mine around. So I write the name underneath the inspired name. So I'll put Gucci Bloom right underneath where it says Floral Honeysuckle. And then when, where I display all my fragrances, I actually turn them around because I think they look so beautiful and just classic looking with no label or anything. Plus then it won't be messed up by my writing. And these have a magnetic closure, which is, I think, super fancy. If my perfume or my um, like my lipstick or anything like that has a magnetic cl closure, I just feel so fancy. <laughs> If you still haven't tried out Dossier by now, then I will leave all their information down below, including a discount code for anyone trying it out for the first time. But Mother's Day is going to be coming around soon. Or if you just want to treat yourself to a new spring fragrance, I definitely suggest them. But anyway, I also wanted to come back on here to say that we are going to be celebrating Chris's birthday a little bit early, at least with his family this weekend. And then we'll be celebrating on his actual birthday next weekend. Um, it's a surprise, but I I have a little surprise fun for him next weekend. And then we're also going to celebrate with my family, I believe, the day after his birthday. So lots of birthday celebrating coming up. Um, we're going to be going to Makayo's today for like a dinner, an early dinner. And it's actually a traditional place for him to go for his birthday because they used to go there quite a bit when he was a kid for his birthday, him and his brother. So we are going to go to a new location, though, so we're hoping it's good and just hang out with his family for a little bit. And then I think we may see a movie tonight if there's time because I do need to get done with all the editing. I also wanted to mention that me and Chris have been watching Yellowstone. We just started and we absolutely love it. Um, well, I might love it even more than him. I don't know. But living in Arizona, I think makes me love the show even more. And also having that Western, you know, that country cowboy flair out here with a lot, we have ranches and we have, you know, cowboys too, like guys walking around with cowboy hats and cowboy boots. And I love that. And I don't know, I kind of always wanted that. I'm so girly, I know, but I love that ranch atmosphere. And if I had like millions of dollars, I wouldn't get like some mansion in California or something like that. Like I would get a ranch. I digress. I just love the show and it's a lot of drama and craziness, but it's really good. So I definitely suggest that. I have a feeling someone might ask what I'm wearing on my face today too. So this is Merit Beauty on my lips in the shade Baby. <laughs> and so pretty, right? I love it. And then on my eyes today, I have the Partly. There's only one shadow that I didn't use. Most of it's the Urban Decay palette. Um, so I used m mostly this palette today. And then I did use one brown from my MAC palette of eyeshadows. Um, but let me swatch these real quick for you guys. And then I got to head out. Um, we ended up having to drive separately, Chris and I, today because... Sorry, there's the first one. I feel like I did a horrible swatch there. Um, we had to drive separately because he's actually helping his mom clean out this huge storage that they had in the back. His dad had like a bunch of, you know, car parts and all kinds of stuff. So they're having to get that taken care of today. See, like those are pigmented. All right. Now the blue, I guess you're right that the blue is not... I just layered it twice there, but see, it's more of like a shimmer blue and how I did it on my eyes that other day was um, more of a liner look. So I think I'd have to wet my brush to have it be more pigmented. Like, look how gorgeous that is. I might have to challenge myself to use that like on my lids somewhere because that's so fun. Okay, let me get a makeup wipe and I'll show you the other palette real quick. So that was Naked Mucho and I've been using that one more than this one for some reason. I think I just like the shimmers in it more. 
Um, Holly, please do not bark. She's being fresh. This one's even more pigmented. Hey, that's another word, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if I said this the other day when I was watching Jersey Housewives. They were saying things that my family and I say that I don't hear out here in Arizona. Wow, that is very pigmented. Um, and one of them is when we call people fresh. Stop being fresh. I mean, stop being like bad and naughty, you know. <laughs> All right. So this one, I didn't swatch so well there. That one is stunning on the lids and I love it. I've used all three of these, but I haven't used these three yet, but they're very pigmented. And I just wanted to make sure to show you that because I felt like I did Urban Decay dirty because um, one of you specifically thought it wasn't pigmented and they are beautiful. Um, do I think that these palettes are worth it if you don't want to have a little pop of color? No, just get the naked palettes. Those are where it's at for you if you're a neutral queen. But if you're someone that wants to have some neutrals with pops of color, then these smiley pa packs, um, why can't I talk today? <laughs> these smiley palettes are your jam if you want to have some neutrals with a little bit of pop. But just want some neutrals, go with the tried and true regular naked palettes. But these are finally available now, I believe. Um, I wasn't able to link them for a while, so I'll, I will link them if they are truly available for you. Speaking of that, of things that weren't, I had spoken about, but weren't like available yet. The mint, the mint chocolate puff built bars that I am already out of because I loved them so much. They are going to be released on March 7th. So that's on Monday, I believe. Um, no, that's Tuesday, I believe. Um, so on Tuesday, I will announce it on my Instagram with a link for you guys to make it super easy. So if you're not already following me on there, it's at Melissa Rose Bruner. Um, and I will leave it all linked down below for you guys. And now I actually really got to get going. <laughs>